ladies and germs, welcome to another episode of Ratsmith Shrugged. Commentary from Ratsmith on the Atlas Cube servers, uh, blah blah blah, something like that. Anyway, <laughs> I just finished putting in this uh, oh, subflooring under my big tree. Because I had a water leakage issue where water came down and washed my buttons away, my track away, everything away. <laughs> <laughs> and I came, I came down here to ride the rail back, and I thought somebody had stolen it at first. It seemed like, like a, like it was a prank, but it wasn't. It was just my own uh, stupidity. <laughs> now where are you? I hear you. Oh, it's a football player. Take that. Ah, go Vikings. Anyway. <laughs> I have been working on my big tree, and you might not be able to see what I'm building up there from this angle. Some people might. Uh, let's get a good view. Well, let's just go up, shall we? Okay. Here we are at the top. My holy mountain is over there. And if you still can't tell what this is, it is an iron golem farm. I'm going to somehow bring villagers up to these cells, and iron golems will spawn in the center and come down this way, drop right in the center here. And this is using flammable materials, so I'm going to have to figure out how to fireproof the uh, the golem weakening portion of it right, right there or so. Uh, I'm using the design that uh, the tutorial of it is by DocM77, and I'll give a link down in the description below. Uh, uh, credits, uh, well, I'll give the credits there. To, I can't remember who made it. Uh, DocM refined it, and he has the best tutorial so far, but uh, yeah, somebody else made it, and I'll, I'll give credit somehow. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's been my project lately. Um, haven't been doing any uh, events or anything. I've mostly just been cutting down trees and leaves. <laughs> but we also have some new new fellows on the Atlas Cube server, so there. Hopefully, we can get some stuff going on with those guys. Let's see if I can get this guy over here. Ha <laughs> ha. Like a monkey climbing up this thing, and it's as you can see, there's uh, there's gonna be a layer of water there and a layer of water up here, and this is one of the cells that the villagers will be in, which currently lacks some light. There we go. Boom, boom, bussa boom. Oh, that was close. Almost fell down. There we go, and there's the middle. And so far, I have uh, this uh, cluster over here, that cluster over there. Uh, the next two clusters to be built will be that direction, by about 70 blocks. So I'm not too looking forward to to doing it right now because this was actually uh, took a long time as is. And there's another reason I'm not looking forward to it. Well, I am and I am. I am and I'm not. Because I do like building. Let's go that way. And get give you an overview of my tree. I'm building a tree. There we go. Big old tree. And the reason that it's going to be extra hard is because I would like to have see how there, it extends both those that way and that way for the iron golem farm I might still put in a mob trap somewhere higher and then I want to harvest enough leaves to surround this completely because I don't like this uh, this giant T over there not my style I want uh, I want to make it more look look more like a big old tree. 
And, well, that's mostly my update. Uh, I'm not sure... I, I, I wanted to do... Even when I first started, and I never have succeeded, I wanted to have a Minecraft video up... Well, even before I was doing Minecraft, I wanted to do a video on my channel every week. And I have never been able to keep that schedule. Never. And I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Uh, there's a couple... There's uh, a couple of opposing factors right now. Oops. One uh, that's uh, that's blocking or helping with this uh, one. Uh, the weather's turning nice, so I'm really getting the urge to go out and start shooting more live-action video. Uh, but on the other hand, my oops, my work, my uh, place of employment is picking up. We are getting much busier. We're going to get very busy. Because uh, we have a lot of work to get done this summer, and then after that we'll have a lot of work to do over the next season. And if that means I may be working a lot more weekends, yeah, this is all boring adult stuff, and I don't think I should be putting it on this video, but I did anyway. As for, oh, oh, I gotta show you something else cool. Oh, hang on, hang on. Open. Go through. Don't touch anything and it closes! Yay! <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Everybody else has already done it. Anyway, that is my update for now. Um, hopefully I can get more stuff done. Uh, I'm kind of going to move, I think, some of this... Well, I'll probably keep these farms here, but I, I'd kind of like to make more automated farms up in the tree. Because I want to do... Well, let me show you what I would like to do. I would like to do more stuff like this over here. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. Get out of there, you. I would like to do more automation on the farms. I think that is where... I don't know. It just... It feels so much better if you can automate stuff, you feel more accomplished. At least I do. I feel more accomplished if I can get it more automated. I have one more system I want to show you, and it's where I'm collecting eggs, and it's not that good. But I'll... well, let me show you. I'll be right... I'll, I'll go right over there. Rain, rain, go away. Don't ever come back. Okay, so I got my uh, egg farm right over here. My chicken farm. And there's a couple hoppers there, and I put uh, rails on them just to make it look like uh, grating. Like this is a food processing room or something. And if you can tell, the lag is always bad in this area, and I, I'm not sure if it's from my chickens or not because it's down in the uh, way down below as well it's not just up here but right under the chickens I developed or developed I played with the hopper systems see the hoppers kind of drain into the each of these chests all the way down and then I had the what I thought was brilliant idea of splitting I have this hopper going into this chest and the back hopper going into this chest and then I Filled everything up except for the stuff that I wanted to go into this chest. Vice versa. And it's already filled. The problem... Well... As these chests fill up... I thought the... I thought that... Like my eggs and... Or my feathers and my... Meat would be able to come down into this. It didn't occur to me that... If this is full this back chest or this back hopper will fill up with eggs as well I could probably kill my chickens now <laughs> I have a lot of eggs so this was my sorter system I thought it would work I didn't think far enough ahead uh, I was hoping that the hoppers would have a way of uh, automatically sorting things without you having to have like a moving minecart or anything like that 
that's my update for this time. Uh, tune in next time when I uh, shuck corn or something. I don't know. <laughs> I will see you all next time.